Hi, I'm Shane Jennick, but you may best know me as being... Courtney Axe. I describe myself as a genderqueer, pansexual, polyamorous, vegan, atheist, feminist, blonde Australian. I was on Australian Idol and RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't know, I just love having fun. People think glamour like this just happens. It doesn't. There are seven kinds of adhesive keeping things up and holding things down, if you know what I'm saying. You've heard of Fifty Shades of Grey? Well, I am Fifty Shades of Pink. <laughs> We do live in a binary world of gender, but we are moving towards the middle. I love getting to be a boy and I love getting to be a girl. But like, who could have loved this? All these sparkles. That's what I love about drag, getting to paint with all of the colors of the rainbow and celebrate masculinity and femininity and everything in between. I wasn't socialized as a woman, so I don't pretend to understand the real struggles that women face, but I think that female empowerment is so important. Bring a little feminine energy into the world. Why is Big Brother still called Big Brother? Shouldn't it be Big Sister? <laughs>My name is Andrew Brady. You'll best know me for being on The Apprentice. I am a bit quirky, I'm a bit different. I'm not stereotypical of, of business, and I think that does benefit me. I don't consider myself a celebrity. Uh, I'm going on this show because I think it's going to be a good laugh. I think I'll be a great housemate. I'm very tidy, I'm very clean, I'm respectful of people's privacy, and in the morning, you know, my alarm goes off, I'm, I'm ready to go. When I go into the house, uh, the person I'm going to miss the most is my mum. She, I am a proper mummy's boy. Like, she is like my best mate. I think the theme this year is great. It is the year of feminism. 2018 is all about equality. Guys, girls, we are different and it's good. And no one's more superior. Everyone should be equal and embrace their differences. I mean, holding the door open for a lady is expected, but I think a lady should hold the door open if she goes through first. Feminism means women should spoon men. I want to be little spoon, I want to be cuddled, you know? If they're not cuddling me, then it's not equal. Done. Feminism is spooning. Holy cow! Oh, thank you. Come on. How are we all? Hello! Hello! Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you. Mwah. Nice, nice to meet you. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, Amanda, come here. You. Mwah. The next job roles are two house cleaners. The whole house must be sparkling clean and impeccably tidy at all times. The rooms that you are responsible for are the bedrooms, the main living area and the garden. You must make all the beds to the women's specification. <laughs> so, the first person that we have picked, Courtney. And Andrew. <laughs> so our reasons for this, Courtney. We're glamorous. You know what looks good. I don't need to say anything else. Thank you. And yeah. Andrew, you and do Andrew too. Those good. teeth, yeah. honey. Yeah. In my mind, sure. you know what hygiene is. Right. Your smile tells it all. <laughs> it's great that you've all come in. Yeah. And straight away, I've been literally <laughs> punching the air, running around the room. It's just changed the mood instantly. Yeah. There's more fun in the house. Yeah. And it's just a lighter, brighter place. Oh, good. And I think, to me, it just proves that one gender ain't as good as a mix. Do you think we're going to get it to the end? I think a cocktail of genders is the way to go. Yeah. Here, here. That's true. It's kitchen cleaning. Don't drink that, Don't by drink the way. The kitchen. That is not a cocktail. It's cleaning fluid. <laughs> Anything's a dildo if you try hard enough. <laughs>
a small percentage of, of the world. You never thought about getting rid of yours? You, oh, no, you're, no. You're, you're, you're oh, not no. that. You're, no, you are Shane, though, aren't you? You are Shane. Yeah, and I mean, I love... is 30, 20% of you. We, yeah. He's caught. Mm. Yeah, it's... That's what I've noticed. Yeah. There's, um... You know, there's there's something with the trans identity called gender dysphoria, where you... I have I have no dysphoria, I have no uncomfortability with my Shane, body. You will die, Shane. Yeah. You will live, Shane. Courtney is an act. Yeah, more than an act. You're she's definitely ego. She's part of my gender expression. OK, uh, yeah, yeah. So I love... I used to think that Courtney was just an act, uh, but that was more because I felt uncomfortable with, like, that it was, like... Shame. It was against I, the norm of yeah, what society tells you. I thought tells it was wrong. Acceptable. Yeah, and so yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, it's just like a policeman I'm putting on a uniform. Right, right, and right, then I was right. like, you're also like having sex with people whilst dressed as Courtney. You've also chosen to look like a woman, not mm -hmm. like a drag queen, mm -hmm. uh, uh, a more t traditional drag queen. Wow. And I realized that I really love. Uh, because it used to feel like there was something wrong with like admitting that you enjoy dressing as a woman, mm -hmm. and now I'm like, oh, actually, it's I, I really love it. She and Jay is pondering his dinner attire. Andrew, I'm trying to work out whether I should whether I should a get into drag for dinner or b put someone else in drag. I'll drag up for dinner. Yes, yes, hundred percent. Wait, what are you putting on? Oh, so I put glue stick on your eyebrows, like so. Is that to glue other eyebrows on? To cover, it's to cover over his eyebrows, and then we paint on new ones that are higher. What? No. Yeah, and what, what we want you to do as we're going through this process is also think about your character, who you're going to become. OK, Very we need to think point. of, you think of a name. And try not to make so it. So I think this is the voice I'm going to go with tonight. I like that, that's very nice. Yes. Darling. You know how India said that she was afraid of drag queens? This will be the kind of drag queen she is afraid of. <laughs> oh, no. You're going to give her some sort of drag Wait, hold on. What's the drag? Come on, we need a drag queen name. Um, I want it to be PC for Anne's yeah. benefit, though. Yeah. Okay. Because this is already going to scare her off enough. Yeah. Mm. All right, Bob. Betty. <laughs> Betty Swallocks. Betty Swallocks. Betty yeah. Swallocks. I Betty have to be Betty Swallocks. Betty Swallocks. <laughs> Betty Swallocks. <laughs> Betty Please Swallows. welcome to the stage, Betty, Betty Swallows. Swallows. <laughs> Where's my hair spray? Oh, here it is. Oh, who's this? Who's this? All right. Um, what was I going to say, Cha? Oh yeah, um, India was just like, oh, yeah, I haven't got a problem with it, but I've just got a phobia, so just don't get, don't. So as long as he's not like in my face, it'd be fine. Okay. So. No, I won't be. I'm not, I'm not taking the... This isn't me taking the piss, though. No, I know. That's the thing. What, what I'm trying to do no, here... No, but she doesn't think that. She's just got a phobia. Oh. Well, my, my, what the, my, I'm attempting to do is educate myself. Because, do you know when your missus goes out, out, and you see her before she goes out? Yeah. And she spent three hours getting ready. Do you know what he's trying to do? He's just trying to... It's just trying Break to... Break barriers. Yeah, that's it. You look gorgeous, though. Mate. Don't, because John Barnes has already asked me to keep the wig on and the makeup on tonight. Oh, <laughs> Do you want me to tear off three strips and stick it up here first? Because it's kind of <laughs> difficult to tear. Right. OK. No looking, though. Not looking. Okay. I'm not looking. Right, so... <sighs> popping them up. Yeah. Do you have to do it in one motion? No, nah, just as long as they're both up there. And then you kind of, like, grab your... <laughs> <laughs> OK. So, the so boys balls, up there. Balls, oh, balls are up. OK. Balls are up. Right, now I've got it. Now keep them up there with one hand. Have yeah. you got the other tape? Yeah. Get the other tape in your hand yeah. and start binding from the bottom, binding up the way to the top. Okay. Ah, 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 What'd you do? Dude, it looks like a tied up pork joint. <laughs> Perfect. How long is this taking? Okay. <laughs> Doing your penis, not your forearm. This right? is ridiculous. My dick looks really strange, you know. It, is it, it meant to? Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> I mean, the better you get out of it, the more like uh, a sausage. It I like I could play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my ass cheeks are stuck together. Yeah, that happens too. <laughs> right, do you want to look? Sure. Right, come and get a peek. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect.
Shane J is about to unveil his latest creation. Fellow housemates, please welcome to the stage, Betty Swallow. 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 That is a transformation. Going on in this house. <laughs> you have done an unbelievable job. You really have. Shian Jie is in the storeroom with his fierce new drag protege, Betty. Oh my god, darling. I look amazing. <laughs> I'm a bell of the ball. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I look fabulous! Do you know if I do, if I stay in this tonight, yeah. India's not going to partake in anything. Um, but I do appreciate, it and I wanted to keep it on. But I also want to keep, make India feel included. Right. And if she's got a problem with it, for right or for wrong, for her, for whatever it is, I'd rather not have it on. All right. Yeah. All so right. yeah, so I'm going to take it off and be All a gen. All right. <laughs> It, I, 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 it might hurt if you pull it off quickly, but I feel like... <laughs> Do you want me to yank it? Right. One. Is it off? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Daniel has got a revelation for Courtney. Well, I can remember looking at you like when we first came in, thinking, "Fuck, who's this cheap little I, I, I don't think I had the conversation with you that you was a drag guest. Yeah? So I, I think when I first came in, I was like, "Fucking look at this all." And then in the morning, remember I was, we were the first people to saw each other. You went, "I sat up." Morning, I went, "I did exactly the same thing." I did exactly. I, like, I could have fucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the first time you slept in a room full of men and not had sex with them? <laughs> 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 Wait, how many straight guys have you fuck have, hmm. have gone? Here's the thing, I've legitimately never had sex with a straight guy and not told him. Have you had straight guys go, look, I want to, but don't tell anyone? Oh, yes. This boy that I dated ended up dating for six months. He'd only been with girls. He was, he, he still has only been with girls. It's not like I was a stepping stone to being gay. You know, I fancied you when you first came in. <laughs> Thank you for your uh, honesty. Fuck, I fancied no, him I when he walked on that fucking stage. Fuck tonight. me, I fancied him. I kind of want you to make me up so I can have a well good wank. <laughs> That's what I, I said to I, him. I did. <laughs> I, I just... mean, it didn't work because it was strapped to my bum hole. I walked into, I walked into the bathroom. <laughs> it was like a backwards bathroom. What's going on? It's going to roll up and down against the bathtub. I walked into the bathroom and found Andrew in the mirror just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Malika has made some observations. I am watching Shane J and Andrew. They're a little bit closer. Friendship, love interest, best friend, whatever. Johnny's talking feminism. Like, if I hold a door open for a woman and she's a very strong feminist and she gets offended by it, that's a negative thing. I'm doing a positive thing and they're taking it negatively. Well, I think the reason why, like, opening a door, offering to pay for dinner, it can be offensive mm. to women is because by a man paying for dinner, mm. Mm. In it emasculates, if you will, mm. the woman. How did the fuck does it work in the gay community? Because everyone's like, ape, 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 ape. No, no. The bottom, the top pays. No, that's not true. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but that's well, the. Well, there has to be some thing. incentive to take a dick up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an incentive. <laughs> Courtney's got her cosy on. It's not too, it's not the warmest, but it's not cold. It's so this is the first for me. First one. Right, because I've never been in a hot tub with Johnny Mitchell from Love Island. <laughs> could, could we all, could we right, all everyone just take a Everyone fart on the count of three. Oh. Oh, wait, have you not? <laughs> <laughs> I, only, I only have, like, hand on heart, I'm pissed in the pool. <laughs> can you not see the yellow I sort of cloud see, around I me? I can see the yellow cloud. <laughs> Fuck up. I'm colour blind, but I can feel it. <laughs> Am I the only one who hasn't pissed? No, you haven't. You've just got to inside right now. <laughs> <laughs> your dick's taped to your arsehole. If 
<laughs> you pissed you pissing your asshole. <laughs> At least a bit of clean one. Oh, that was heavy, bro. That was heavy. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I can't believe I've just seen a, ju a drag queen ringing that, out her tits that is, in a pool. <laughs> that's the drag queen hot tub version of a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Tit drain. Tit drain. <laughs> just keep the door open up there. Just get blowy. Get blowy. Get blowy. Why are we doing it in here? Shh. Joe, come here. Joe, I need you to come and blow some of these up. We're just making condom balloons. I just want to fuck with people, man. <laughs> but do you know, John sleeps a bit funny, but you sleep a bit on, like, all right. You're yeah. like to swap with me tonight. You want me to, to jump in with John, yeah? Yeah, is that all right? Me to swap with Dan. Yeah. So you're all right with swap beds? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I got a shit night sleep last night. Do you think I've got a good blowing technique? Go on. You've got a good blowing technique. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Anne is talking to Sheehan Jeer about his alter ego, Courtney. I do prefer you as Shane. Thank you. Uh, Shane's a lovely young man that you'd want to be your grandson. Yeah, well, but Courtney, Courtney, you wouldn't uh, want anyone near that. <laughs> Courtney's the sexy one that you'd want to be at your hotel room when you come oh, back from no, the eviction. Oh. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. <laughs> if you had a son who brought home Courtney, I think you'd be having a few words with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I straddle different worlds. You straddle multiple worlds. And that was not meant to be an innuendo <laughs> whatsoever. I straddle the gender divide. And I do feel like that sometimes in a way that I, I do, whilst I'm not a woman as Courtney, I do feel that I have a unique experience in how people perceive me because, especially with straight men, because all of the boys said one by one when they came down the stairs that they were like, oh, you know, who's this yeah. kind of thing. And um, it's just fascinating to see how straight men interact with me as Shane and as Cor Courtney and how they do treat me quite differently. Well, they will treat men and women differently anyway. Yeah. No, but I don't I think mean, most men, people... I mean, men treat men differently from women, always. Yeah. Do you oh. feel like I treat Courtney, Courtney differently and to Shane? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you're more flirtatious. Like, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that, understandably so, you know, you're a young, virile man with sexual desires and Courtney is aesthetically a tarty, attractive... You've said it. Yeah. She's tarty. Yeah. I think an Americanese Courtney is a tramp. <laughs> yeah. Courtney and Andrew can't keep their hands to themselves. Wait, oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> You have to do the tongue thing, right? Oh. No, 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 do this. Sorry. Get this right. It's that. Like, like, oh. right? Okay, and then. <laughs> <laughs> secret oh, romance. Oh, fuck, that kills non me. Non-secret romance. Non-secret secret secret romance. Secret handshake. I like that. <laughs> Can we show Anna our secret handshake? Anne, check it. Do you think she'll appreciate it? Oh. <laughs> Johnny is getting some Courtney time in the garden. Ah, oh, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, don't fuck without me watching, yeah? <laughs> You've already made it clear, Andrew. Um, that was to you, Johnny, by the way. <laughs> I'm a slut, mate. You watch Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting it. I reckon you break his walls down a little bit, metaphorically, not physically. Um, you might get something, you know. <laughs> Obviously, like, I think Andrew is cute. Andrew, a Andrew is. I'll tell you what, when I came in here, I saw Dapper Laughs coming down the stairs, and I thought, no, I can make that, and he's fuck I, I actually think he's on par with Dan, to be fair. <laughs> and like, also, he's, he's, I mean, and alcohol might play a big part, he's, Really willing to like yeah, the, the, the mutual flirtation. Yeah, I think yeah, there's, I, yeah, you know yeah. what, I think there's a genuine affection between all four of us. I think there's a massive affection between all four of us. Yeah. I, I, I think we appreciate you all, all days of the week, all hours of the day. And I do. And it's not that I didn't think I would appreciate it, it's the fact that I've never been in a position where I had to appreciate it. And I actually feel the same in return, where I don't think, I didn't think that I would appreciate the straight 
men, boys, men and boys mm. of the house as much as I would. And there's our laddish group. We've got it down to a T as yeah. well. <laughs> Andrew is talking to Big Brother about his favourite housemate. I think I've gelled better with someone like Shane Jay. As insightful as he is, he's such a character as well, and he's got some, uh, he's got a good sense of humour. So uh, yeah, Shane Jay is my boy. I've got gay friends, um, but I never thought I'd be close to someone who was so openly gay um, and and was so open about speaking about his experiences. Andrew, what's your relationship like with Courtney? Oh, Courtney's fit, you know. <laughs> There's going to be people watching this going, what, what? Courtney's hot. Um, and, and, and Courtney's a little bit of a minx. Um, but we have some good chats as well. Um, not taking anything away from Shane. Shane, a good-looking lad. But when, you know, when you've had a couple, of, uh, a couple of beers and that and you see Courtney and you're just like, Oof, wow. Big brother, you need to stop giving me alcohol when I'm around Courtney, though. Because you never know. <laughs> Andrew is quizzing Amanda on her past relationships. You mentioned you mentioned something about a threesome, and I really wanted to to hear about that. I did. I did live as three for. Um, it wasn't a threesome. It was a three-way relationship. Oh, you better sit down. Do you, would you would you mind? No, I don't mind. It's like, I, I mean, I, I, I've told everything about my life. I remember I've you ever said had. important. It was important. And yeah, that's what very. I'm really intrigued about. When <laughs> I actually met my husband, who was very very kind to me in, in my first West End play, when I was so nervous I couldn't speak and I was falling down with fear because I'd been a dancer. Uh -huh. And anyway, he, I think he must have fallen for me and I for him, my best friend he was. And I did say to him. I really don't know what I am, if I am anything. I said, I might, I might be, I hate the word lesbian, I don't know why. And he said, oh, thank God, I've always wanted one on a lead. <laughs> he did <laughs> as I live and breathe. And we had a very good marriage, actually. But along the way, as it was a time when gay things were so, it's not like now. There was somebody who should, should be nameless, who was being fairly well abused and spat on as a gay lady. And he, he stood up and sort of took her under his wing. And that was how that person came into our life. And we became a strange little band of brothers, really. We all looked after each other. Quite often, it is just based on love and affection. Mm -hmm. If you weren't given any rules, we would all do all sorts of different things of course we would. and find better ways, maybe, to, do to live. Yes, that's my theory. I could theory. not agree more, Amanda. All I can say, I can't say any more than that. Yeah. And so you, sh you have to just obey your heart, mm -hmm. and it's not and some your head. fling Follow and your thing. Heart and, your head. and and those people all become great building blocks in your little I life. I agree. Would, that, would you say that was significant in you? determining or no. coming to terms with your sexuality? No, I, no, I've never known what I was, darling. Okay. I, you know, I, I am who my relationship is. Yeah, yeah. I cannot... You're in love with the person and not their gender? No! Yeah. I, no. Absolutely not! Mm. I, I, That's really I powerful, though, as well, well in, in such a way by which you can stand up and say that and say... But I've always felt it. Yeah, that's amazing, though, because time told you not to do that. At the time, it was almost a, a, a wrong thing to do, and yeah. you, you just you just went, do you know what, stuff you, yeah. I, I no, like no, this I, person. No, I didn't do that. I didn't know how to do anything else. You have to follow your tickers, I'm afraid, you know, and look how lucky I've been. Look what's happened. Get married at 79. <laughs> Did you get married at 79? Yes. Oh, wow. Come yes. on, what do you want out of it all? Uh, I'd like a woman who gives as good as she gets in terms of, like, you know, I'm... I'm I know a woman just like that. You. <laughs> <laughs> like all good pals, she and Jay and Andrew are about to have a bath together. Have you seen this? Oh, my God. It's the cutest little bum I have ever <laughs> seen in my whole life. Are you getting in? Is it hot? It's hot, but there's not much. Oh, here we go, it's good. It's good. Oh, I wish I was. Oh, got... it's not hot. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. So, that's not the stove. <laughs> Oh, I dropped the soap. <laughs> I must pick it up. 
<laughs> I wouldn't be very good in prison. <laughs> I wouldn't. You really wouldn't. No. Die. You're too pretty to go I'd to have prison. To use, I'd have to use liquid soap. <laughs> anyway. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh. You can shave my feet for me if you want. Your oh. feet? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just your feet. Yeah. What? Otherwise I look like a hobbit. My mate's in the bath with a drag queen! And he's shaving his feet, but I think it's all right. He's happy with his sexuality. He's a bit gay. I'm just a mate keeping out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Brother, where Daniel comes to the diary room. Oh, 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 oh. oh. My eyeballs have more hair on them than your actually, legs. They actually really do have to be Oh, oh, oh. My foot just went somewhere. It's all right. I didn't feel it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Daniel. Hi. I know you really wanted me to just leave the bathroom to leave them two alone, didn't you? Do you think there's a genuine attraction there? They are having a good time. They're flirting. Andrew flirts with everyone. So I think they're just having a good time. I think they've created a little friendship. Oh my right. God, she's actually getting in. Are you getting in between? Yes. OK. Oh. oh, I don't have my... I forgot my razor. Bring in the tub and the little one said, roll over. There we go. Yeah. See? This is, um, what are you shaving? Indy, please, could you pass my razor? Well, it's a man's shaving cream, but uh, I think it'll... OK, so what am I doing? Oh. Do you want to live up your own armpits? Are you doing armpits? Is that what uh, you're doing? I don't mind. Hold on. How, how, how have we now gained the power, right? And you are insisting. Does Jenny Lyon wish she was here now? <laughs> no, no Genuine doesn't does. need to see his missus <laughs> getting shaved. As, right. as far as Genuine no, knows, I don't have... Hair on my arm. Here. And my yeah. girl made in Chelsea. Grass. No, no, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Organized. Shaved her. Shane, you're all red, darling. You look like a lobster. Yeah, yeah. Pink belly, pink belly, pink belly, pink belly. Don't pop the eye. Oh, oh. Listen, come here, come here, he's brilliant. Come here. I've got a theory, you two. I've got a theory that you two are no. going to be the first couple to kiss. No, wait. <laughs> Can we kiss? Go on. Wait, go. you guys, oh my god, wait. Come on, make out, make out, make out, make out, make out, make out. You go, we go. <laughs> Who the fuck has your knee in my ass? Oh, oh, my arm. I'm sorry. Oh. You guys are a bunch of fucking oh, jerks. Oh my god, what was that? That was too funny. <laughs> you, you guys, you go, we go. Okay. How's that sound? Give me a Come on, Ashley. Me in the middle, I'm the red. When my hands go down. No, I'd rather be with you. When my hands go down. Stop. Make out with Ashley. No. Do it. When my hands Man, go down. Stop it. When my hands go down. It's you two. Ready. On the count of three. When my hands go down. Come on, they got to do it. Don't be a punk, you guys. Everybody's watching. Just a punk. On the count of three. I'm counting. You're not the ref. On the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> yes. Do it, do it, do it. Ashley, do it, do it. Okay. Do it oh my God, Ashley, you okay? Do it, do it. Oh, you're just caressing the nigger. Her grandma. Do you think her grandma was watching? She's scared because of any Oh my God. You're the same age as if my grandma. <laughs> She gotta say what to her grandma. She said what? Nothing, you don't wanna know. It's really good. You're tucky tagging, you're embarrassing yourself. No, I was tucky tagging. Tagging, you're embarrassing yourself. I've lost mine. I've lost my thing, my chapstick. Do you mind me crying, baby? Thank you. Mwah. Look, see, you're just scared of me, it's okay. I'm not scared of you. That's funny. You've been taking me on a date. Xian Jie is dragging Malika through his feelings for Andrew. I just don't think. I think he. I think he likes girls. I, I think so too. And I don't. I think whilst Courtney is an attractive girl, uh -huh. he also like is intellectually aware that 
she's not. Yeah, but he didn't kiss Courtney last night. He kissed Shane. <laughs> but that lads do that sort of thing. Really? Yeah, I think so. And I think as well, like, like you were like, I think you said last night, it was kind of like if he kissed you, would you kiss back kind of thing? I was like, yeah, of course. Right. But like, I'm not like living with that expectation right, at all. Right, right, right. You're like, you're, you're not going to be disappointed if it never happens. No, I just enjoy like having fun and having a friend and having a partner in crime in here. It's right. Fun. Yeah. No, I can tell you guys are close like that, and that's cool. I don't want to be like the the creepy unre unrequited love friend. Right, right, right. You're like, I'm, like, I'm secretly obsessed with you. Yeah, the puppy dog who's like... Right. <laughs> Do you like me? Do you love me? Do you need me? <laughs> yeah. I did too much of that in my 20s. Oh my god, I remember being that stupid. Uh-huh. Like, I, I, I acknowledge, like, all the great things about him and appreciate his personality and, and the bond or the vibe that we have, but, like, I'm also, like... Right, right, right. You're not waiting for the ball to drop in either direction. No. I'd rather just have fun. Right. For now, for the moment. I feel you. Yeah. Andrew is getting handsy with Malika. Not your first rodeo. You know it. I don't think I've ever massaged such beautiful hands, though. You're so silly. You have got nice hands. The, the second romance is starting. The second? I think the second is him and... Uh, him I know, and I'm having Shane. a romance with everyone. You should have seen what me and Dan were doing last night. Well, did you, did, was one of your requests to the, to the women to allow you to massage their hands? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not even, this isn't even a thing, this is just me. Didn't even, I didn't even ask. Yeah. Maybe I should have asked permission. Consent is sexy. Yes, it is. I don't think I needed to get consent. Look at the smile. I'm happy. There we go. Andrew is courting Courtney. Oh, Shane, where's Shane? Where's Shane Jay? I wanted to show, the, show Shane Jay this new hottie. <laughs> you don't care which one he is. This new hottie we've got. Well, not new, but this hottie. This, yeah, Courtney, this hottie. This hottie we've got, yeah. This hottie. Shane would love you. Yeah, he would. Well, probably not his type, though. No. Oh. <sighs> Are you happy with your hair? Yeah, I like this. I feel like a little bit like Rhythm Nation, a little bit... You look like Britney. And the winner, based on her Friday night first live eviction, fingernails. Let's have a look. It's just the fact that they're like the attention to detail, you know? Let's have a look. Who I say. There you go. Thanks. They're sweet, though. They are. They're proper back scratch nails. Yeah. If you play your cards right later, I'll give you a little That's scratchy what I'm scratch. That's what I'm hoping. It's been great, guys. See you later. Take You're care, not mate. being evicted, Paul. See ya. He loves the drama of it all. He does, not he? He's really, like, getting himself sucked into it, too. No, totally. Hanging around with boys is the worst because I blame Anne Whittacombe's, not all of Anne Whittacombe's disapproval, I blame most of that on my skirt falling off on the first night and the size. <laughs> I mean, if she to... stayed up after hours and she was in here at three oh, in the morning, she wouldn't some think of the Shane was somebody that she wanted to be her grandson oh, then, would God, she? Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh. Boy, did she say she wanted you as a grandson? Yes, she said, well, she didn't say she wanted me as a grandson, she said that wait, 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 wait. she's the perf, she's. She's the kind of boy you'd like your grandson to be. She, he's the Shane. He's the. You. Oh, oh well, that's a really nice thing to that's say, isn't cute. it? She has this real disdain for Courtney. No one told though. me I'm the kind of girl you want your son to marry. Maliki, you're the sort of girl that I'd want to marry. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's very sweet. You're the kind of girl I'd want to marry too, Malika. Really? Yeah. You know what, you guys? We could just make this a three-way marriage and we call could. it a day. There's something for everyone. I'm okay with that. I feel like um, Sharon Stone. You are Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney is eyeing up the future. What do you think is going to happen over the next three weeks? Like, are there going to be fights? <laughs> no, I think people are going to start grouping off, though. All I'm, all I'm hoping for is just to keep my head together. Yeah. Yeah. Like, will, will, we, will, we, will we, like, have a fight? No. Okay, good. No, there's only one place I'll put my fist, darling. <laughs> <laughs> it's around my... Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, that's the sound you'll make as well. I think ashy wine is not happening. There, there's no this relationship there. Look at it. What, what, what has happened so far for anyone to think there's a relationship? The cuddle on the side. There ain't. They're that's cuddling. not a relationship. And he, no, they're hand and holding. Him, he's, had, ain't a relationship. he's had a semi on a few occasions. <laughs> I've seen. Mate, that's just his dick. He's, he's hung. Right? <laughs> Would you link with Courtney? I to win know, this? To, I know the cameras are here. Not well, to win this. No, like, like this is even... Because you have like, genuine... <laughs> Oh my God, how come I've been put on the stage? Don't use me as an object. Andrew is talking about the age divide. Jess and Ashley mm. and even Malika are being censored by the older people because they uh, feel obliged to go to bed early for yeah, the lights. Yeah, so they're, they're not, they're, they're not going to go, like, get on one, yeah. No, man, I know it's a real shame. Like, it's a good job we got Courtney because we've got some eye candy, you know? Yeah, and you know what? Court <laughs> Court Courtney's, like, Courtney's fit, man. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. Here he is. Love that. <laughs> no, no but you, know, you know what I mean? It, it, it's, it, it, it's funny because when Courtney, when Courtney is Courtney, like, and she's out, it's just... <laughs> it's fucking... No, not, not, not like that. It's not... I'm not saying I'll fail. Want me to give you a few minutes? I'm, like... I'm saying in general, like, it's just like we've got a girl with us now, so it's all right. We just start exactly, to get drunk. Exactly. It, it's kind of like that. Courtney is the best of both worlds. Yeah. Because she's got the banter of a, of a <laughs> lad, she's like in shame, and then she looks like a hottie. <laughs> Fucking joke. Yeah, man, it's funny. Oh my god, did you hear that? Yes, Announce my own family. That we just got told to stop. Oh, yeah, she's she telling a story. Yeah, I know. She's so sweet. Oh, she is. Yeah. Is this what our fight's gonna be over? Not no, now. Our not fight, like, man, your the, fight. Yeah, like the, the, our first disillusionment in the house. Like where we like fall out and then we realise that we, we can't live without out. each other and Aww. then we oh. Courtney, we ain't gonna fall out. She actually Courtney's actually grabbing my ass whereas I'm pretending to. This is for real. Mm. <laughs> you know I'm watching these two. Something's gonna happen. Let's go for a cigarette. Behave now. Maggie, I wouldn't do anything you wouldn't do. Well, that's what she's worried about. No. <laughs> I know. Clip clop. Yeah. Oh, where? <laughs> You're right there. Where are you sneaking off to? No, we don't want to interrupt the story. <laughs> Can't wear your chain. That's cute, sure, man. <laughs> but, hey, but I do think when when Courtney's Courtney, Andrew oh. just forgets. For yeah, yeah, he and forgets. He <laughs> No, I just don't want to get into, like, a fucking bitching rail fest. Do you have something to bitch about? No, 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 not at all. But I don't want it to sort of come around personally, like... You're speaking in riddles. Anyway, I can't feel like a out-and-out -out winner at the moment. No. I can see some strong candidates. Yeah. You know what I can't do is I can't work out who's going to go next. No, I can't, no, I can't. I can't see any sort of natural progression. No. I feel like I'm on the outskirts of it a bit. In terms of like, yeah, of course, I feel like that. In terms of like, I've never conformed to the group mentality. I've always been quite uh, good at getting on with like smaller groups of people. I've always been a floater. What were Batman and Robin? A something duo? Dynamic duo? Dynamic duo, yeah. I think the good thing about being in a dynamic duo Me is and you are Batman and Robin. Yeah. You're definitely Batman. Aww. Yeah, you're the, you're, the, you're the showstopper. I'm just the, the ugly kid with the shit mask on the shit costume. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a good costume. Courtney and Andrew have been talking for over an hour. In my opinion, to be a celebrity, you need to have a talent. I don't have a talent. John Barnes has a talent. He was a footballer. Dapalast is a comedian. And the garden chat hasn't gone unnoticed. But, but it might happen, John. Yeah. You know, people know. don't know. Of course it, might, it will. Yeah. I think it will. And I can see it. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but Andrew doesn't know it yet. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, that's Shane the thing. He's the only it. one that doesn't know. He's the only one that doesn't know it. I'm but telling I you. I don't think he would be a burst. <laughs> But you know what? I don't think I don't think we should point it out because obviously it's a big step for Andrew. Yeah, so don't, so don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think he act, they act, they actually have a connection? They got a connection, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. I've been out there. They got a connection. A hundred percent, they do. Yeah, there's a connection there. Kim Kardashian is, you know, a celebrity with. The talent is definitely not sucking dick. I'm not gonna lie. That video did nothing for me. I haven't seen the video. Um, oh, come off. But I did watch the Paris Hilton sex tape with Paris Hilton. One night in Paris? With Paris Hilton. Fuck off. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. How have you not said this yet? Um, you watched Paris Hilton's own sex tape, you were with Paris Hilton? With her. 
We were in Melbourne. We, we'd been hanging out. It was 2003 because I was on Idol. And my friend Rob and I went to the Opera House for the premiere of Matrix the movie. And I was like, ah, oh, can we get a photo with the Hilton sisters? And she was like, sure. So we went in, I chatted to Nikki. We ended up hanging out a bunch of times and we were in Melbourne and um, we did not bang. We made out, but we didn't bang. Um, you and Paris made out? Yeah. You've made out with Paris Ellen? Yeah. Fuck me. As Courtney or as Shane? As Courtney. Right. That Oh, it's covered. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's, it's not. It's not. No, no. Right, we'll, no, no. We'll do this. We'll do this, right? <laughs> right, what happened? Look at those the two. Book, Sorry, Bart. The oh, they doing that. They doing that to play around, y'all. They doing oh that to play God. around. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. My girl. <laughs> now they're all like, oh. <laughs> like, no, that's not what happened. Andrew's doing it to play around. Sean's on the nigga in serious, I'm telling you. <laughs> that, that, that clearly looked completely guilty. Look at me, I'm Be careful, be careful, be careful, it's not... <laughs> For Malika, it's all in the eyes. There's this look that we all kind of have in our eyes when we look at someone. It's different. It's special. Shane slash Courtney, I personally think, is the only one that is aware of it. And I don't see it completely, but I see it like that much. And I think a little bit can go a long way. Courtney is marking her territory. Look, it's meh, my friend's cock spaniel. <laughs> Dude, she just licked me. What, your face? Literally licked me. Like, we were having this conversation later, we were saying that like, you're pretty oblivious, bro. <laughs> nah, man, nah. Nah, no, you're in denial, nah, bro. Nah, I'm not, you're in major nah, denial. Man. Listen, Courtney, slash Shane knows, man. <laughs> right, we're mates. No, you don't. You don't know shit. What? Are you serious? Because I, listen, oh, I feel like that's the thing, though. Like, for me, Shane slash Courtney, let's call it, let's call it Shane. For the Shortening. 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 And so Shane knows what's going on, right? I am comfortable in myself, by which I can have a friendship <laughs> with a drag queen, a gay drag queen, and it's not an issue for me. And that's what we're saying. We're saying you're very comfortable with your sexuality that you're fucking oblivious what's going on, bro. Mm. is on it. Trust me. I don't agree. She and Jay and Andrew are dissecting their relationship. <clears throat> I've told Big Brother and I've told everybody else. I'm like, we're having fun and being friends. I'm like, I know it's just so sweet. I'm like, yeah, we're just like... Normal people. Normal people having good times. Yeah. And even, it's funny, because John, I think, last night was like, had your back in a way, where he was like, listen, you be... something like, you be careful with that boy. He's like, you know what you're doing. He doesn't. And I'm like... Me? Yeah, <laughs> like as in like... Like, I'm a young, naive, innocent. <clears throat> yeah. And you're predatory. Not, not so much. <laughs> Maybe more you just take that, advantage like... of my drunken state and Courtney's <laughs> around. But it's like, there's nothing, no funny business going on. So it's not like there's actually anything going on. Mm -hmm. But like, I said to them, like, why can't, why can't a gay boy and a straight boy just be friends and have a good time. Why does there need to be a further implication? Exactly. Look how organised your cupboard is. What? Ah. Oh. I'm so OCD when it comes to shit like this year. Okay, all bets are off. Why? I just fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> no. But it's like that thing where 
I think like last night Malik was like, do you fancy him? I'm like, yeah, but not like that. And I know that. Which is, which I think like and when it, someone is like that, you can feel it and then you're like, and if, and, if it's, and, it, and if you, Shane, if you do fancy me, that doesn't change how I feel no. about our friendship. It doesn't, it doesn't freak me and out. If you like... fancy Courtney, it doesn't change how I feel about our friendship. <laughs> well, Courtney is a bit of a sort, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it, for me, it's all, it's all good. Yeah. Listen, it doesn't, it, it, nothing, like, you're my boy, right? And that's it. And, and I have complete admiration for you. For me, I mix with Shane. When Courtney comes out, I'm like, pow, Shane just got hurt. <laughs> you know, that's it. I think that's what this, for me, I'm getting out of this. Mm. Doesn't matter your gender, your race, your sexuality. Your age. Or your age. You're a person. And if you're a nice person, then you're a nice person. If you're not, then you're just a knob. But yeah, give me a hug. I don't want anyone to... Ah, oh, my ankles. Oh. You're like, are you okay there, Skelly? Yeah, no, it's all so good, all right? Mm. And yeah, we'll just carry on having a good laugh and letting people think what they want to think. Here, here. Here, here. Let them eat cake. Here, here. Andrew's got Shane on the brain. Do you know what really sort of touched Shane? You, yeah. <laughs> naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what really touched Shane? Was the um, talent show. And when he was up there performing at House Courtney and singing, he liked how the women were and they were like, oh, like this. But then he looked over to the boys and we were like, yeah, go on. And I don't think he's ever had, he's that. Ever had that. And I think that touched him more, the fact that we're like, yeah, you're just one of the fucking lads. You're wearing fucking six inch heels, bum what? implants, fake tits, but you're and a face full of makeup and a wig, but you're, you're one, one of the lads. lads. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I like. I like that. Because, you know, as, as worldly and experienced as Shane is, there's still things that he hasn't had. Yeah, and I think maybe he's missed that. Yeah. Or missed out on that. I think maybe he has, because guys, even in Australia, I imagine, heterosexual guys, we're not as open about our sexuality in the sense by which we feel it's okay to be Flirting. friends and flirty with a, with a, yeah. with a, with a, with a cross-dresser or with an openly gay man. When you really just get to the bottom of what, what Shane and Courtney is about, it's about honesty is about his, 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 yeah, and he's funny his as talent well. and, uh, you know, and his openness, and, and he's fucking hilarious. Wayne's moving in on your territory. Seems. Get off me, Wayne. I'm ashamed. <laughs> because. Fuck Wayne. Because he's I'm the. I'm ashamed, Wayne. Because. Don't go in there yet. What? Because Wayne. I don't know. He's trying to It's not like 3.5 million people. Not my team. That's a cool man. <laughs> that's fucked. That's, fine. that's assault. That's, cool. that's not assault. <laughs> this is assault. You just ripped my panties. <laughs> no, get up, get up. Oh, last coffee table. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We're good, baby. <laughs> That's too much. That's too much. This is Big Brother. Can Shane Jay <laughs> stop putting the pillows on top of us? <laughs> oh, God, I was more drunk than I thought last night. Yeah, me too. Oh. You look like Tinky Winky today, though. You know that, right? It did Tinky, was Tinky Winky the one that had the handbag? The purple one. Yeah. With the red handbag. Red handbag? No, it was, no, it was the green one had the handbag. Oh, that's OK. It, they would, it would have been a green handbag if he was green. Red handbag. That doesn't seem very colour coordinated at all. It wasn't. It's like dress for Christmas. Mm. Um. Um. Oh, it's your. <laughs> little puppy. It's okay, little puppy. Oh, I feel. I feel. Whoa. Yo. Come out for some fresh air. <laughs> well, that's it, pretty much. That's my feelings on it. What? What are you saying? Nah, not more. He's just fucking talking about this nomination victory. Oh, Sometimes you Ashley's just. Ashley's to... done her makeup. Mm, no, no, Shane, yeah, Courtney's done her makeup. <laughs> done Ashley's makeup. Jeez, she looks amazing. She's getting dressed up for G. <sighs> yeah. Shows on the road. Do you know if Courtney didn't have a dick, I'd go to town on that. I'm not going to lie. 
not for the first time. Andrew showing a lot of cheek. Put the trousers the down a bit more. It's most hairy. I'm not. This is not more. me trying to be. Oh, that's really. That's okay. I need a bit. <laughs> oh, it's on. It's on. Oh, you caught. You got rope. Now you got to do it. Do it fast. Do it fast. Leave them all on. That's it. And then and rip it off. Hang on, you need you... to relax your bum. After you've rubbed it vigorously, to warm it up, then you go shh, against the grain. Are Start. you ready? No. Go on, go on. Three. One. <laughs> two. Ow! Ow! Wait, we got one more. We got one more. I'll pull it on three. One. Jeez, I got fucking done! Wow, yeah, you're taking the hair off. You fucked it up. It was like fucking gorillas in the mist down there. <laughs> what have I just been part of? <laughs> History. <laughs> I feel like I should put it out there to the others that haven't been nominated, just for a little education as to watch your back. But yeah. what are you watching your back for? I feel like no, I feel like you we should like talk be, about no, it. Because no, no, no. This isn't nominations thing. What you need to make sure is you, you trust the people you hang around with because you want to know f full well that they ain't going to fuck you over. But, like, what does that even mean? Uh, if you heard the line, keep you... Friends close and your enemies closer. Exactly. <laughs> Housemates are bed swapping. Mate, it might be the last 48 hours you get to spend with me anyway. Don't think of, just think of it like that. <laughs> My big spoon. My new little spoon. <laughs> oh. There you go. Where should I put it? There is the... Push it. That was probably a lot more suspect than it looked. I yeah, know. Oof, my dick's hurting after that. <laughs> it got an eyelash. Make a wish. I've got it. Oh, I... I think I ate it. <laughs> um, oh, do you know what I wished for? There's a little piece of me in you. Do you know? <laughs> Careful. Andrew and she and Jay are discussing the rules of engagement. You're the least affectionate when in bed. Like, even, like, now, like, snuggled in like this. You go to bed, yeah. you roll over, you, like... I know I'm bad. Even if you were a chick who we'd, we'd, we'd cross that border of, of sex, I still, I'm still not, a, like, an affectionate person right. in that way. I can romantic and I am affectionate, but I like to sleep when I sleep. Yeah, I like that. And also, true. the whole, like cuddliness. I mean, like, I've only got boxes on, right? And, yeah, if we're cuddling in bed, that's quite intimate. Yeah, I guess so. And I probably wouldn't do that with, like, friends who are girls of mine. Yeah, because you're a man. Because I'm a man. And, you know, anything can kickstart an excitement in the lower region in this place. And I've got to chop you right now. <laughs> so have I. <laughs> Oh, we both got a semi. Does that equal a hole? A hole? Uh, <laughs> I feel like a young lad like you would be out sowing his seed. No, I don't see. I don't pull when I go out. Why? Because I don't. Too much fun. Yeah, I have too much fun. Like I always think, if you're walking back with someone you've done, gone out with, you've probably not had as good a night as you could have if you'd stayed out with the boys and the girls and had a good time. But surely, when you're out, there's like a young lady that takes your eye and you... Yeah, but most of the time when I've been out in Chester, I've been out with a girl. Like, a girl I've been, like, game with. Do girls have one-night stands? I know boys Yeah, do. I know girls. I know, yeah. I've had one-night stands with girls. <laughs> <laughs> Who to say they must have had one-night stands? Yeah, but, like, it's... <coughs> I feel like it might be more common in my world. Because think about it, if you've got a guy like me, I could... As a, you know, if I was single, because if I was, if I was you in could a relationship... You have sex every night of the week, but finding a Basically, woman I could have sex with, sex with a new person every night, maybe twice, maybe three <laughs> times, four times a day if I could, you know? But, but finding a woman to do that, or multiple women to do that with, is impossible. And I've never been a guy who's been to the gym and had muscles, six-pack, like, I was like this. 
this this for me has always been the tool by which it, it pulls is 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 my humor is 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 my confidence and stuff and then i thought you know what like all my mates are like oh, how do you do it how do you do it i'm like fuck just talk to them like they're humans man like people want to know that they're they're they're, 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 they're people um even the fit ones even the ones who guys don't think they can get Having mourned the loss of John for a whole five minutes, housemates are fighting over who gets his bed. Hey? Yeah. And what about Johnny? We're not having head. any of the dawn chorus people oh, in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can have Shane and Andrew and then we can spread out a bit in our room because they'll happily share a bed. Shane and, and Andrew. Andrew. They, yeah. they quite Shane and Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> they will share the bed Sometimes. in your dreams <laughs> <laughs> and in my nightmares. <laughs> She and Jay and Andrew can't keep their hands to themselves. <laughs> I feel like we're going to get on WWF after this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> right, I'm getting up. Come on then. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good job. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's complicated. <laughs> you might not support our marriage, Anne, but you have to recognise our love. Don't be disgusting. If we. <laughs> If we Disgusting. have come anybody, we have you, noisy brute. <laughs> Daniel's wondering if Andrew and Xian Jie are being straight with each other. Who's going to out you? <laughs> that but is also... the probably Shane Jay, to be fair. <laughs> no, I got my homie, bro. It's OK. Is he dominating you? Of course. Yeah. In this relationship, I would be the top. I accept that. I just need to know, like, from a mate's perspective, or mates with both of you, as long as you're both aware, it's a friendship, or if you ain't, and there's something more as long as you're both aware of that, I'm happy. I'm aware that it's a friendship. I'm aware it's a friendship. Good. Because the and last thing I would want is for one of you... To be hurt by it. Yeah, because imagine if he's gone through this full battle in his head and then goes to make a move and you're like... <laughs> Psych! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about Shane then. Straight all I'm, along. In, I'm in drag, we're like in a bathroom, I'm just bending over to do it with my shoelace. Andrew's like, and I'm like, hey! We're friends. Psych! Yeah. <laughs> oh, just as long as you both know. I, I, I know where I stand. And I know you where you I know stand. Where yeah, and we joke, we joke, we all joke yeah. about it, I joke about it a lot. Just as long as you know who's top and bottom. <laughs> the most unrealistic <laughs> thing about all the gags is when it's about Andrew copying up the butt, and I'm like, that won't happen for at least a week. But it would. Yeah, four days. I feel like our relationship has probably gone further than G and Ashley's, though. I mean, I've shaved you. <laughs> You've waxed my arse. <laughs> there hasn't been a brush of a spoon, and I can't there that's not. Literally no, nothing at all. No. Thing is, it was free. You're, you're both taking it in turns to masturbate after you have a lot of uh, mm. physical contact. No, it's only when Courtney's around. <gasps> It's Courtney. Oh, it's going to be Courtney. Why can't you just give parts of Courtney to him to take to the loo, like the hair, the bum? <laughs> yeah. No, just the, just the underwear. That's all I need. <laughs> well, it smells like me, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Courtney actually smells like. <laughs> all right, let's stop. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. I don't mind you sexually objectifying Courtney in my presence. Are we like watching you walk away? Looks bam, like bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. What's up? Like oh, I don't know, them two just are so like, it's... Uh, they're in love. No, they're but I mean... I think they are. They are in love. I've got the utmost respect for Andrew, especially, that he has no barrier between his ego and his affection for, for Shane. Okay. For someone he cares man. about. No, and but it's not that. even gay man, it's just someone he cares no, about. Okay. It's brilliant, isn't it? He cares I about him. The boys outside they this house I love. It. Yeah. yeah. And I can see that they love each other. And, and, and Shane, I think you're so right. And do you know when I saw it? The minute he made him up in drag. Yeah. After that, the attention you know I said? I said that was an Andrew got pressure. from Shane mm. just sealed a little loving pact, whether it's straight, gay, whatever it is. The love will be between yeah, them absolutely. probably forever. Because the perception in here of what we are. Mm maybe something different to what we think it is. I yeah. know you've got stories about you getting with straight guys and, and all blah, 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 but for me, it's, 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 it's a friendship. Yeah. And I, and I admire that.
don't matter that my mate, my best mate's a boy and we we cotch and we, you know, That's like, it's Welsh for cut. I don't know if it means cuddle, but a cotch. You cotch my back, I'll cotch yours. That's more spooning though, in a way. Spooning leads to forking, so be careful. Exactly. I mean, I've got some serious, really weird poos at the moment, so you don't <laughs> want to be doing that. I'm not going to fork your bum. Mine, however, is a self-cleaning oven. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Andrew and Shin Jie are getting cheeky in the hot tub. Ashley, can we ask your permission to show you our bum cheeks one <laughs> second? Because we have done something very creative in this water. Using the, the hot tub suction. Yes. OK, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are silly. <laughs> Is it wool? Yeah. No, but that hurts, man. Should we go in? Yeah, alright. Come on then. Do you have a towel? Yeah, mine's in the bathroom now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, it's still knobbly. It's still really knobbly. <laughs> <laughs> You're still the inside. You had a good time in that hot tub, didn't you? I think the energy is completely different simply because Ashley is, she's got to search elsewhere for her connections and mm. therefore like Jess and Malika and Ashley and I were all having girl talk in uh, the like, bedroom. Like, like, That's never happened girl sleepover. before. My thoughts on Ashley have gone from almost rock bottom, to be fair. When I first came in here, I thought she was being false. And since then, she's only gone up. And I really like Ashley. I didn't think I would, and I really do. And I admit when I'm wrong, I think out of the girls now, I think Ashley's my number one. I've said this all night, I think she is my number one. For me, Ashley is the type of girl I want to protect, because I think she's really nice. And she isn't naive by any stretch, but I want to protect her because I feel like she hasn't got a guy to protect her now. She hasn't got a G, you know? And I feel like I need to step up in that sense, in a, in a non-sexual, non-creepy way. And yeah, I and I also think, I, I think that's admirable and honourable of you, but I also think at the same time, and I know you'll agree, but I don't think she needs she didn't need a, a guy she didn't, she didn't. to validate no, what she thinks. I agree. When you look at Ashley, you think like, well, she looks fit. fit. Yeah, she is. She is fit. But when you when you say to Anne, you look beautiful, it's a different of meaning. Of course, it's a different meaning. Of course, it is. Like I'm not attracted to Anne in any way, shape, or form. As nice as I think Anne is, she ain't my type. However, Ashley is beautiful, and I'll tell Ashley she's beautiful, and I'll mean it, and I don't mean it in a creepy way and I know she doesn't think I do. But if I think she, she needs a hug, I'll give her a hug. And I like Ashley, I do. And I would smash that. I'm not gonna, obviously, because I'm a nice guy. I would smash that. Wow. See, that's how I bring it down, bring it back down to earth. No, it's not that at all. I, the whole time you would smash that, and that's, 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 that's a fact. From the get-go. Oh, she's gorgeous. Yeah, she yeah. is. Yeah. No, it's just like genuine walked out the door about. Oh no, no, no! But I've said that to myself for a long time. Yeah, but you haven't said it for for okay. a good ten days I... or so. But now you're like, <laughs> oh, okay, good. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> And all of a sudden you decide you love Ashley now, tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. This is not even me being... This is not me being the jealous girlfriend. <laughs> I support you and your seed sowing. Thank you, Courtney. I appreciate that. She and Jay has broken his meditative state to talk to Big Brother. It helps me clear my mind when my mind starts thinking too much about one thing. I find sitting down and meditating helps to reset me. What have you had to clear your mind about? 
I'd be lying if I didn't say like my little brain was racing about Andrew and just thinking about like our relationship dynamic and one's mind can run away from oneself if one doesn't take a few deep breaths every now and then. I'm not pretending that I have completely neutral feelings towards Andrew, like he's handsome and he's lovely and I'm like, <laughs> but like obviously like I'm attracted to men and he's attracted to women and so like there's that that sort of one-way street but I sp have spent much of my 20s being in unrequited relationships with straight uh, male friends and I know that that's not healthy for me or for them and so like with Andrew what I'm really focusing on is valuing the friendship rather than um, doing what I might have done in my 20s which would be like running off down the path of possibility. Over the past two days the boys squad and the girls squad have been competing to win the power of the house. This is Big Brother. Congratulations women. You now have the power of the house right. and are the only housemates able to nominate. Mm. You will use this power right now. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Whoa. Knew that was coming. Only the women can nominate, but all housemates can be nominated. I fucking hate this game. This is Big Brother. Anne, you should now give the name of your first nomination and your reason for this nomination. I regret very much, because I like him, that I nominate Shane J because I felt that the lewd display of behaviour here the other night brought the entire house into disrepute. <laughs> why, why are we stuck together? <laughs> it was a position that is normally adopted for a sexual purpose. <laughs> the term scissor sister might be of service. Sorry, but there you go. Thank you, Anne. <coughs> Again, with deep regret, because I like him very, very much, and he's been very kind, it's Andrew, who was the second half of the <laughs> esteemed theatrical performance. Sorry, Anne, didn't think you'd seen us. <laughs> your mother and your grandmother almost certainly did. Ooh. Ooh. Would you like some burn cream? <laughs> <laughs> There oh, he is. She wanted the Are you Andrew? Nope. <laughs> but I'll take it. Hoorah! Too bad. Well done. Thanks, Anne. Well done, Anne. Well you just secured next week as well, then, haven't you? <laughs> Can we have our one-on-one -on -one couples moment in the storeroom? <laughs> Yeah? Nothing really. Okay. What are they going in? There's a camera in the store and we can't do anything. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling, honestly, I'm feeling fine. It pissed, it pissed me off. That's all I'm going to say, it pissed me off. Because she hasn't got a right. When should she earn the right? Is it the mum and grandma thing? Yeah, that's it. And she hasn't got a right to dictate what she thinks my parents are thinking, what my grandma's thinking. You know, my grandma is a lot wiser and older than she has. She is, and quite frankly, she can stick it up her ass. It, but she needs to keep her opinions to herself because her opinions are hurting people's feelings. Her opinions are making people feel um, somewhat sensitive, um, somewhat worried, like in my sense. And quite frankly, if she hasn't got anything nice to say, she should shut a fucking trap. All right, she should. If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say fucking anything. That's what she needs to be told. What role do you think Anne was playing when she made those comments? A stuck-up bitch. Everyone's trying to please her. No, no, I know. And, but they what I'm are. saying is, is that I I'm, think... I'm, okay, I am done pleasing the bitch. Well, you don't need to call her a bitch. I do, she is. I'm done pleasing her. So from now on, she either she apologises, which I know she's not going to do, or... She doesn't apologise, and if she doesn't apologise, then it is done. I ain't gonna cook for her, I ain't gonna clean for her, and quite frankly, she in this house doesn't exist to me. I don't believe it's right to call anybody a bitch or a cunt. Why? I'm not gonna get in an argument with anyone about this. This is how I feel, 
And at the end of the day, what Anna's done has hurt me. I right? think that's more to the and point. And bringing all this, and I appreciate you taking me one, to one side, but having them, having to go outside and listen to, to half a dozen people tell me how I should feel, how I should approach it, what I should say, what I should do. Quite frankly, everyone can blow it up their arms. Who's been evicted so far? India? Yeah, Maggie. Then was Maggie next? Ra no, Rachel. Rachel. Oh, fuck, I forgot Rachel. Then Maggie. John Barnes. And John. And Genuine. And Genuine. And then Johnny and Dapper. Oh, how awkward. <laughs> I think you fingers crossed anyway. If it really means anything, like, then you kind of have to be a bit selfish, don't you? You have to put on your own oxygen mask before that of a child's. <laughs> But earlier today, I was feeling anxious, not about, like, leaving so much as not being here with everybody, living in this utopian bubble. Yeah. And, like, having a mobile phone again and having... I'm worried about a phone. Ugh. This ignorance is blissful. Mm. That's exactly what it is. Since yesterday, the viewers have been voting to save. Gosh. I can now reveal the person with the fewest votes and love, first love, to leave the house tonight is... Andrew. Daniel, Johnny and Courtney, two more of you will also be leaving the house this evening. Andrew, you have 30 seconds to say your goodbyes. I am coming to get you. Wow. Good luck, pal. Have a good evening. Enjoy. See you in Chester. I'll see you on Friday. Good luck. No Have joke. a good night. Andrew, Enjoy. please leave the celebrity Big Brother house. Oh, Woo! Go on, pal. Go on, bro. Go on. Come on, it's been great, man. Don't tear up the town tonight. After being the sole survivor of the eviction, Courtney has come to talk to Big Brother about Andrew. I don't think you ever think that you're going to make a strong connection with somebody. I don't even like, it's not even something that you're hopeful for. It just kind of comes along and like smacks you in the face. And when it does, it's like the most magical thing. Just means a lot because it feels so warm and lovely. And I really think that that's the sort of thing that life is made for. I really think it's made for connecting with people and and having those friendships and it's not something that I get to do a lot and so to get to do it like this it was just magical and and honestly like straight boys lads alpha males still aren't allowed to have friendships with drag queens or gay boys in the way that Andrew and I did and I just I feel so special that he just kind of said like fuck you to everybody's perception and was happy to just be a kid with me i don't have my partner in crime anymore you know just like the companionship of having a, a best friend there to share this experience and it's gonna be different To Johnny, Daniel, and Andrew. I hope you find somebody. I hope you find somebody. I hope you find somebody. I hope you find somebody to love. Somebody to love. Somebody's alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody's alive. <laughs>
Courtney is about to be dragged into a secret task. Shane! Courtney! Yes? Down here! Down here! Tell me left or right? Down. Housemate wall. Be quiet, be quiet. <laughs> Alright, bud. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Mate, I'm so proud of you. You are smashing it. Thank you really you. are. And you look fit tonight, I must Thank admit. You. This is so cool. This is cool, isn't it? Am I allowed to do this? Yeah, this is part of a secret task. Oh, okay. I've not hijacked it, don't worry. Oh. I've, I've been allowed permission in here. So there's a secret mission. Okay. So what we need to do. Okay, you can't tell anyone I'm here. You need to get Jess to tell Jess you're gonna declare your undying love for me, but don't refer to me, okay? Okay. Come back and see me. Come back and see me in a bit. Okay. Do it in the lounge. Right? Yeah. You're having a kiss? Huh? Were you having a little kiss? <laughs> yeah. So, That's pretty. I was thinking on Friday, yeah, when I see Andrew, that I might confess my undying love for him oh. and see what he says. And I know that he likes girls, and so it's kind of like... Has he ever mentioned anything other than that? No. And he definitely likes girls, because he talks about that often. Yeah. But... Well, you should. Because what what have you got to lose? Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'll only be here for a few days. Yeah. Yes. So your next one is you have to flirt outrageously with Wayne to the point where he thinks you fancy him. So make me as jealous as you can and come straight back when you've done it and try and do it in the lounge, OK? OK. OK, good luck. Were you dating Six of these. men back then? Yeah. Did you have partners? Uh, like a, a, no, a well, I was quite or a free character for yes. a while. So my wild oats, shall we say, <laughs> when I was young. It's too hard to flirt with Wayne. I love him too much. That was a terrible, terrible effort. What you need to go is just go and jump on him in bed. Jump, push him onto the bed and just jump on him. Mount him like sea biscuit. okay? Do it. Oh, how did you turn the dryer on? What did you do? do, do? Where are you what going? What are you doing? I don't know. Oh, I see. Just dancing around the room. <laughs> OK. Then waltz. We haven't done a waltz. Just a minute. Who's the leading cow? That's right. You put that hand on there. <laughs> so you go right together. Now you come forward with yum thing, yum thing. Cool. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> How did we get in this position? <laughs> oh! Mother! <A> mother! <laughs> Please be gentle, it's my first that's, time. Oh, <laughs> I think that's the Aww. end of the first lesson. Aww. Bloody hell today. Jeez. What? I thought, I thought you were going to be here till Saturday. <laughs> Live evictions Friday. Jesus, right. <laughs> Next one, you have to do get Anne to wear one of your wigs in the lounge, OK? You have to convince her to put it on. It has to be in the lounge? In the lounge. Carry it up. I'm coming. Here, nice arse, chick. Anne, now that I'm presenting ladylike... Yes? How would you feel about trying on, on one of my hairs for this evening's party? Yeah, I don't mind doing that. Put it down, I'll pop it on. I don't guarantee to keep it, but you can try it. All right. It's quite easy to put on. Well, you wear wigs all the time in pantomimes anyway, don't you? I didn't this year at all. Oh. <clears throat> We're having a party tonight, aren't we? Well, I don't know, I assume we are. But maybe not, because we had a party last night. We did. I don't think it's you. I tell you what. Next one, we need to get you to do, get everyone to do a conga in the living room, around the sofas. And the second one, I need you to get them to all talk about the people who've left okay. and who they miss and who they like and hate. OK. OK, love you. Here, right here. See you in two. OK. <laughs> so 
Shall we do a conga line around the lounge room to get the energy flowing? Yeah. <laughs> Ready? I'll hold you. Ready? Come on, Shane Lynch, you own it. You own it. Come on, you're getting all this strain. Come on, jump on. Jump on, pal. I'll be two steps. We've all learned to shut up. That's when they invented this stuff. These people are fit. Half a crown. It's really creepy when you look at John Barnes because he winks every three seconds. Just wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. What? Andrew just looked the other way. That's weird. He didn't. Yeah, look at the smile on his face. Look at that. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Oh, I knew that, man. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got oh, me, Mr. Yeah. Lynch, you got me. Is that why you yeah. called us here? Is that what you were looking at before? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yes, yes. oh. What the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, how cool is that? <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> how are we? How are we? We so, can't hear you. My task was to get Shane, Jay, Courtney to do loads of random stuff. Uh, I had to get her to flirt with Wayne and push him on the bed. I had oh. to get her to tell Jess that he was going to uh, tell he's a nine love for me on Friday. Which is true, so it wasn't really a task. <laughs> me too, I've got lots to tell you. I feel like I cheated. This is so weird, it's moving it's, at no, me. It's, it's tragic. Is it black and white in there? You look, your smile was looking lovely. It yes, is. here's a kiss. <laughs> You've all been doing amazing. Honestly, you should be so proud of yourselves for getting to the final as well. You oh. smashed it, every single one of you. Oh. Um, even you, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, well done. Right. We'll see you all Friday. I love you. Bye. 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 This is so weird. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. That uh, was that's weird. what you. What were you doing? I've been talking to really... that bloody television all night, feeling I'm, like I've a weirdo. I've seen you. I've seen him do some weird slut drop thing or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, like... You mean trying to find out when he's coming on? No, he's been there the whole night. That was so cool that he just popped up like Harry Potter. Dying love to end. Really look, look, look! In the hot tub. Oh, <laughs> Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. sorry. Jim, no, that's right, okay. Yeah. I don't understand him in the no, way. No, 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 tap me. That's what that's Love. for. Don't run away. <laughs> oh, it's good, isn't it? It is. It is amazing. I've just been explaining, but from my perspective, love comes in many forms, and it doesn't necessarily have to end with sex. You can be in love, and you can be affectionate, and you can give people. Ah! Oh, I hope Annie isn't I mean, going to have a threesome. This would be the craziest threesome <laughs> in the world, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> I said to, that, to Daniel, that? To Daniel. That would be front page when? On, the, on the Financial <laughs> Times, it would be that crazy. Absolutely. I'm not being the jam in your sandwich, though. Oh. I can't tell you how fucking proud I am. I can't. I can't. I'm so proud of you. I can't concentrate while your fly's undone. Sorry. Right, wait. But I fucking love you, honestly. Love you too. are amazing. You really are. And I can't wait to see you on the outside. There's no cameras in here. Stop squeezing her ass. <laughs> There's no cameras in here. I'm just going to squeeze her ass. Come on, after you. Oh my god, you've taken my wardrobe as well. How's that look? Good night, Ash. Love you. Take care, okay? See you soon. Have a good one. Right. Love you. See you then. Guys! <laughs> One, two, three, we love you. One, two, three, we love you. Cheers! Bye! 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 Take care. I got the good side, the good side of things. I can now reveal the housemate with the most votes and the winner of Celebrity Big Brother is. Conversations. Um, they also like the uh, 
the bromances. Aww. <laughs> Uh, right from the very start, you had eyes for one boy. I did. Do you want to have a? Do you want to have a look at the two of you together? Oh, we got a super cut. Yeah. <laughs> Roll the tape. <laughs> In this relationship, I would be the top. I accept that. I obviously think Andrew is handsome and a, and a lovely person. It got an eyelash. <laughs> I think I ate it. There a were. little piece of me and you. Know? Oh, Courtney's fit, you know. Me and you are about my mother. You're definitely Batman. Oh, my God! Yeah. <laughs> you know, if Courtney didn't have a dick, I'd get to tell him that. Oh. <laughs> and you are my worthy winner, OK? Yeah. I love you. Um, so you got to see him again this week. Yes. And uh, the look on your face kind of spoke a thousand words. Now, we know you've got a crush on him, but yeah. how much of a crush on him have you got? As much as he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. No. But you have, you've said it's in the okay. diary, room, we, we, um, and it's been played out, we've seen it, that um, you used to be attracted to straight, unattainable men. <laughs> um, so, so have you gone back to your 20s and has it happened again? Well, I'll like... tell you tomorrow morning. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, you know, the thing that I love about... The thing that I love about Andrew is that he's just so comfortable with everybody and, yeah. and everything. And I, you know, I said, I, if, if more straight guys were like him, the world would be an even better place because there's just something about somebody being just fine with it, like not caring what people in the house, people at home are thinking, yeah. just knowing who he is and feeling confident sharing that in an unconventional way. And I, I love that, I respect that about yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm pretty sure he fancied you quite a bit when you're Courtney, right? <laughs> I mean, he He's made, only human, Emma. He made, <laughs> he, made, he made a few comments, um, and uh, especially when he'd had a few drinks. So, so, <laughs> so when he'd had a few drinks and um, Courtney was on the scene, did you kind of push it a little bit more? You know what, I do respect his, his boundaries and things, and I, I, as much as, you know, it's fun to flirt and fun to... I mean, it is fun to flirt, don't get me wrong. Once yeah. the boys left, I was like, what's the point in doing drag? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, no, I th the thing that I really do respect is that they, we did have that, like, understanding. And I think that perhaps only the two of us knew what our relationship yeah. actually was, because I think everybody else was like, what does yeah. that mean? Are they? Aren't they? Are they? And we really knew what it was. And, and we saw that. We saw the conversations where you were both kind of like, look, we're, we're on the same page. We yeah. know what this is. But yeah. sometimes the, you, you can't help but get carried away in your own head, right? Yeah, I mean, but no, but that's human. what my 20s were all about. So, so not, not anymore? Not, not anymore. anymore. Now I'm a you know, mature woman of a certain age and, and I, I, I completely just revel in the friendship more than anything. Because that's, yeah. that's, to me, honestly, that's more important. And you were one of the lads, which was amazing. I know. Like, they I'm were, not usually you know, one of the lads. I know, but it was lovely, that whole friendship. It's, it is time now, though. Yes. I've got to say this. It's time for you to spill the tea. Um, we're going to need to talk about one of your former housemates. Here's a clue. You waxed his ass. Aww. You taught him how to tuck. You're narrowing it down. You dressed him up. Yeah. And I think you fancied him a little bit as well. Do you think? I think so as I well. I think it was a ride there for a ride back ride. <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about Andrew. Yes. Because I know you've had a chat with Emma about him, yes. but girl to girl. Yes. Is there any part of you still that thinks something could yeah. happen? No, I Boy, I hesitation! Oh, yeah. Hesitation! Well, he did say that if I didn't have a... Mm, um, uh, <laughs> uh, you, I feel like if Andrew and I met in a dark nightclub somewhere... Like... <laughs> <laughs> he knows it as well. Right? We've spent, a, we've spent a month together in a house, and now what is way more valuable than any, you know, from a little something hand shandy in the corner when no-one's looking, <laughs> is a friendship. That is, is a friendship that I truly, I, I cannot wait to spend time with him on the outside world. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's honestly, it is truly worth more than anything sexual. We did, could be non-sexual life partners. Did you expect to, to find a friend that close in the house? No, I didn't. And I knew that we were friends. And then when the lads left, the DCC... Yeah, the DCC! <laughs> yeah. When the DCC left, I... I was very lost, and I did keep walking past that wall of photos and just, like, looking at Andrew's photo, like, giving him a little smile. And then one day, it started talking back. It smiled back at you. 
and yeah. it was just and and then afterwards like even tonight i was like looking at all the photos and like just give a little i'm like their photo they can't they can't see you courtney but it was yeah i know i didn't expect to find a friend like that and i didn't expect to bond so much with the lads yeah and you know it was so lovely to see you as well thank you andrew no 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 like i i think you're the woman is about people like courtney yeah because 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 Courtney is an amazing woman, and, and I wish that she could be like like a like a real woman, and and then I, I could totally go to town on that. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Courtney? <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, just stop lying to yourself and let's get it on. <laughs> Everybody in!